Okay, John, we've had a full day. We want to recap and a moment, like a minute. What have we done today? Um, did we do anything? I felt like we missed lunch. We just did <laughs> we did miss lunch. <laughs> miss lunch. We <laughs> talked a lot. I, I don't know. I think we got everyone pretty much on the same direction, which is a hard thing to do. You have to put a base out of okay, what are we going to do? Because you got so many people, and if they're all going in different directions, it doesn't really help. And now I think we've pretty much locked it in. This is we're going to start with this. We're going to start with that. And now I, I guess the next level is we need to figure out which criminals we're going to start with next. But at least we got it down to that base, and so I think we've accomplished a lot. And a lot of the issues since today was is the 15th came to the head with our banking situation, and we've got emails from them. Everything's pretty much handled for the next couple months which is a big accomplishment and I can't complain about the bank they really want to help they said you know what do you need tell us what you need I, I kept telling them I don't know I have no clue what I need but I will so by Monday I have to have a package together and they will put together a funding program to help us get to the end on the renovation and getting things straightened out so so we've got 90 days to rid 30 years of problems. Yeah, it's, if it, I, 30 years is it. It may be longer than that. Those were built in the 60s, so we, they may have started right off down in the in the hole, but we can change that. Great, great. Um, any final thoughts for today? What's, what's your mission for the next month? I want, to, I want to expand on my whole concept that humanity at any level has the right to have a safe life and that's something that's kind of builds on you you start you talk about it, it sounds really kind of oh well, yeah whatever but it the reality is I shouldn't have to be have to pay to be safe I sh just shouldn't have to be you know Rome had it set up many 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 years ago that a Roman could walk the streets in any place and he was safe because all of Rome would come down on whatever country they were in that hurt one Roman. Well, this is America. Why are, you know, we protect our, our citizens across the, the ocean sometimes, but our citizens right here, right, the people that are in our country are not safe to sleep at night. Their children aren't safe to go outside their house. They're, they're got to be careful who knocks on their door. Inside a community, where other people can see that this is going on and no one steps up and does anything. No one makes a call, no one stops them. They are afraid of them. We have let criminals take over the streets in some areas because they don't have the money to support themselves, to get the security, to get the things that they need. That doesn't need to be that way. We can change it and that's what I'm working on for the next 30 days. It's amazingly important that we deal with that issue right there. What else do we do? You know, we know the crime has got to stop, but how do we stop the crime from coming back? How do we keep these people, get these people to a level where they will protect themselves and their property? Where do they get that responsibility of their own stuff? How do we take that, not that idea out of their minds that someone will come and help me when, and we need to take that and turn it to, I can help myself. I can do this. I can protect this. This is my spot, and I don't have to be afraid to be here. And that's, it's a hard thing to change. It's a long, you know, the 30 years of criminality that's been in there has now got to be turned around. Not only the criminality has to go, but the people that have been suppressed by the criminals have to bloom back up and be given that strength and that power to be able to take care of their lives again. And so we got to take away that learned helplessness. Exactly. It, that taught. It, and where we got on that, I have no idea. But somewhere along the line, it has to stop or our country is just going to just implode as far as I'm concerned. And I'm not an expert on that. All I know is my, what I do. And this is what I do. One last thought. What message do you have for the people that are standing in our way as a team, your way as an owner, to make this place safe? Tell them what you want them to know. You know, I would like to say, I'm the guy you gotta you gotta watch out for. I'm gonna steamroll over this whole this whole thing. It's that, but that's not me. I've obviously got more of a team than I am, which is what Henry Ford said. You know, I I don't know how to do accounting and I don't know how to do this and do that, but I know how to hire the best people to do it. Well, I don't necessarily know how to hire, but they've sure come to me. And I, if I was someone out there trying to stand in the way. I would want to take shots at me because I'm the weak link out of everyone that's dealing here because I really don't have a clue about how to handle some of this stuff but, but between Dottie and, and Jose and, and Michael and, and you can tell with Laura and, and Vicki and all the other people that we've got involved, they don't have a chance. I mean really this is a group of people that is highly educated and highly trained, a uh, job that they, it comes easy for them. 
You know, all I have to do is just kind of, I think my job really is to just stay out of the way and let everything else happen because I can see it's out in front of me already. Okay.